time of year, my favorite time of year. This is, this is the time when you come alive because it's time to garden and you've been out there sourcing all of the trends yeah. and you're going to share with us what we want to have in our gardens this season. Yeah, some of the things that you'll be finding at garden centers like PC Gardens and President's Choice, there's so many different options and that's the whole thing. The world is your plant life. The right. plants come from all over the world and you have, your garden's like a diverse little uh, United Nations of plant material that's out there. <laughs> First thing though, what I want to bring it back is bring it back to local and locally grown. Doesn't matter whether yeah. it's Canada or the United States, locally sourced, locally grown plant material is what we really get excited about. And the reason why you have the freshness that's here is all because it's locally grown from places like my family business, which is Bradford Greenhouses, yep. Sheridan Nurseries and whatnot. Being Canadian though, this year one of the biggest trends that you're going to be showing out there and seeing is red and dun, dun. white. It's all about the Canadian colors. Yeah. yeah. Embracing that, right? And, and this year, because we're celebrating Canada 150, this is a brand new rose variety, which is called the Canadian Shields, that ah. was developed in Niagara. Uh -huh. Super, super hardy, great blooming plant material that's going to do very well for you in your Canadian garden or in even some of the gardens in the northern United States as well. And that's right across the prairies as well. So this is a nice, okay. tough plant. You know, probably the ones that you're going to probably be most likely to get are geraniums, the red and white geranium. Yes. Everybody goes says, Grandma does that, Mom does that. I don't want to do that. But I will tell you, geranium in full sun yes. are plants that do exceptionally well. Okay, well that's okay? good to know. And they're and they're tough. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So they work. The reason why grandma did it, did it, mom did it because it worked. Right. And they're smart. Moms and, smart. and grandmas are smart people. Moms always know. <laughs> then the big trend as well is when it comes down to our bees. So this is a brand new Biddens, which uh, is called Bee Alive, yeah. that attracts bees. So gardens for bees, very big trend out there where people are not discouraging pollinators, they're encouraging pollinators. Bring them on. And making sure, even dandelions are on trend this year. Really? Having dandelions in your lawn is in trend. If somebody says you have too many dandelions, you just say I'm supporting the bees. Okay. That's all you have to I'm say. I'm trendy. Yeah, you are. I'm, I'm trendy. Yeah, I don't weed anymore. I'm trendy. And the same <laughs> token goes as well is for those plants out there that attract hummingbirds. Those are pretty. So fuchsia. Fuchsia, yeah, which is, is a part sun plant, which has that little bit of a bloom, which I will tell you hummingbirds will adore mm -hmm. a fuchsia. So having that movement in your garden from Mother Nature is great. Nice. Food. Do you like food? I like food. I love <laughs> yeah, food. Yeah, I really so do. So growing your own food continues to be a, a big huge trend. trend. It doesn't matter whether you're on a rooftop or whether you have a large space. Yeah. Uh, something that's really kind of interesting here too is you look at mm. this. This is a strawberry plant. Yes. Three different varieties of strawberries on Ooh, one plant. Nice. So we're so, like diversifying. You're making it even easier for people to have a little bit of variety. Yeah, where you can get a white strawberry, a red strawberry, all on the same plant. So that's maximizing nice. space as well. That is great. We're okay, so eating, like being bees, Canadian, having the bees, uh, eating, eating. Sustainability. Reduce, sustainability. reuse, recycle. What you're standing on right now, maybe. Yes. from rubber. Oh, right? the, all so of that's these from lovely tiles. RethinkTires.ca. Okay. That they're rubber reusing, reducing, and taking a, an old product and making it into something new. Sustainable. Are you thing. feeling kind of dreary lately? Yeah, I really am. Oh. You cheer me up. Okay, so what I'm going to cheer you up with uh -huh. is when it comes, you know, we often s focus on the top. Yes. Let's focus on the bottom. Okay, let's do that. And if I have a good bottom, I'm going to have a good time. <laughs> 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 so... Bright colors now in nice. containers. You can see the greens, the yes. purples. Of course, as we said, red, yeah. blue. Lovely. It's now is the time to be bright, to be bold. Right. Because I think for a long time, a lot of us wanted to be very conservative with our planters. It's all, you know, the grays, the blacks. Look at that. Look at that. That is a stunner. That Look is that. really nice. Gorgeous. My top matches my bottom. It so does. Yes. yes. Vibrancy. And that's the whole thing. We've had kind of some gray days in the province of Ontario and yes. really right across the North America. So we need some of that brightness. Yeah. Um, make us and, happy. And some us people up. live in a world of shade. Yeah. <laughs> Does anybody here have a shade garden out there? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And when you live in the world of shade, you really want to focus on foliage. That's another trend that comes out oh, there as well. Oh, this is pretty. Some of the coral bells varieties that are there as well. Catching fire. Isn't it beautiful? That's and with a nice the catching name. fire, the reason why it has that is if you look at that lime, almost that chartreuse green,
green with that little bit of orange in the center of that vein. Mm -hmm. It almost looks like a flame coming off of that leaf. Boom! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See that? Instant yeah. impact. Instant impact. And I look at it. this. This is not an ornamental grass. That there is a sedge. Okay. And so a sedge is what appears to look like an ornamental grass, it does. but it grows more in a shaded location. I grow this sedge at my home and it is fantastic. Does it get really high? No, it stays low to oh, the ground. Oh, it stays low. I use it as a border plant oh. uh, and it's good in part sun. So nice. instead of the hosta, that sedge kind of gives you that kind of nice look, yeah. almost make it feel a little bit warmer that's out there.